Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be playing here at the back nine at the course, which is across the street from my house. And I uh, couldn't find anybody to play with, so I'm just riding solo today. Actually, I feel like I've been playing pretty well recently. Um, I don't feel like my, it's funny, I don't feel like my swing's any faster, but it must be uh, somehow better because I've been driving the ball extremely far. And uh, irons have not been great, like as far as the, the contact, but my misses have been good. So I've been playing pretty well, so I'm looking forward to today. Um, mainly when I'm gonna, I, I have a lot going on in my head, but uh, I'm gonna try to play this like a tournament round, which I need to start getting ready for as uh, winter turns into spring. So there's some takeaway things that I've been working on, you know, I, I don't wanna do that and stuff, but I'm gonna try to just turn the brain off a little bit and just go out and play golf and have fun. Uh, see how I can do. Okay, I just hit my first drive and walking out to it, it is unreal how far I just hit that ball. Because it's cold, usually I'm back by the um, I'm about like 155 out, now I'm 110 out. See, there's my ball, and there's the green right there. So, that's awesome. The encouraging thing about that swing was that I, I've been hitting a lot of balls on the range, and I wasn't even thinking about my the new pre-shot routine that I've started, and just automatically I kind of forward pressed instead of pressing straight down, I pressed slightly forward. And that's a big difference for me. I think it could help my game a lot. So here I'm sitting at a little less than 110 yards from, from the hole. And uh, that graphic that you saw that tracks my, uh, my swing is I'm part of this beta program, this beta testing program of, of this product that, that I really like that tracks exactly where you hit your ball from uh, with the driver and then where, where your drive went when you get to it uh, without you having to do anything, which is really cool. Because I got a lot going on anyway with uh, with all the filming and uh, everything else. I don't need anything additional and this is just very simple and it adds something nice to the videos to see exactly where they went and a little map of the hole for you guys, especially if they uh, don't know these courses. So uh, I hit a, a very good wet shot. You can see I'm always falling backwards after almost every single shot and then uh, I had not practiced on the putting green at all and I had no idea what the speed of the greens were and I uh, got excited and nuked that first putt and made a three putt bogey. So here I'm on the uh, 11th hole and this dog legs to the right quite a bit. So I, you'll see when I'm trying to fade this, I'm like, I already swing hard with my body, but I'm really trying to swing hard with my body and uh, kind of keep the face a little open. How's it going? And you can see I hit that uh, into the, just barely into the left rough. 281 yards onto the left side and um, so now I have I think I have yeah 75 yards to the hole so I'm just gonna shoot this with my uh, range finder so I, I have 75 yards to the hole or so so I took out a, uh, a lob wedge 60 degree lob wedge and I was gonna hit it like kind of easy I ended up hitting it a little too easy and I got a little fat. My contact recently has not been good. And that was a, an example of that right there. Wave. And, uh, and I just waved at it and got annoyed. So these greens here is kind of like they're playing this week at Riviera, like the surrounding greens is this Kikuyu rough. So really like chipping from the, you gotta be like, you have to have a really certain technique to do it. And I can do it, but I'm not like, not like the best chipper in the world, so I'd rather, I, I mean, I'm gonna put this thing a lot closer to the hole than I am gonna chip it. So that's definitely like a, a putter from off the green for, for me almost every time. So now I'm lining up this like seven foot putt, but the thing that I liked about it, at least, even though I was short, I left myself an uphill putt, so at least I didn't, um, I'm gonna make way more uphill putts, so you really have to think about what your miss is gonna be. 
and that was a great stroke to make that. So one over after two holes, going into the third hole, which is a par three, short par three, just like 145 yards, 150 yards, no less than that, yeah, like 145 yards. So this is a, a nine iron, and uh, I actually hit that so solid that it carried all the way to the back of the green. You can nine see, iron, check that divot out there. You can see that the T, and then it was the the deepest part of the divot is out there, like four inches in front. So if you follow that uh, Bobby Clampett's uh, impact zone, you'll see that that's uh, what you want to aim for. I used to be completely obsessed with that to the point where I kind of almost ruined my swing trying to get that four in front swing bottom because I also got my headway in front too. So a decent lag putt from about 36 feet and then a, a good good tap in to stay one over after three holes. So now here is the short par four, 315 yards, 13th hole. So you can see uh, it goes way down and then it comes back up again. So it's, it's about level to the area that you're driving to. That, that fence straight past my head there, that's OB. So you, uh, uh, but it's really hard to get there, but because it's OB, you can drive your ball against it and then you're not allowed to take a drive unless you're really hard that ball. So uh, I hit that really solid, but it did uh, cut the cool over thing about to the being, right. This is my camera setup today. The cool thing about being longer since I started working out is Here's the trouble, this tree behind me. And there's my ball up here. So I've hit it, what usually, because that was kind of a shrimpy drive, would have been a bad shot, is now fine because it's past all the trouble. So you gotta kind of be stronger than the designer. So I just remembered, I actually did not hit that solid. I, I think I towed that and it kind of bleeded out to the right. So uh, here I am and you can see that there's the uh, this bunker I have to go over, but I'm on this upslope, and I used my 54 degree wedge. So those two things the really made the made ball. Pop up. I knew it was gonna pop up. It was gonna pop up way more than I thought. Made it pop up a lot, and that was really terrible. The cool thing that this uh, driving app does, uh, it show it gives you a little indication of how good you are with your driver. So it gives you a handicap for your driver. So like in regular golf, I'm a three handicap, right? But this, this driving app says that with my driver, I'm about a plus three, sometimes even like a plus four and a half driver of the golf ball. So that shows you if I'm driving the golf ball like a plus four, which is basically a tour pro, and, uh, but I'm scoring like a three handicap, that means my, my wedge shots and my iron shots and the rest of my game must be really bad if I'm driving it that well and scoring uh, as mediocrely as I do. So that was an awesome drive, probably my best drive of the day. This is into the wind a little bit. You can see how really that was sunk up really nice and look, hit it well and look at the great balance there. I'm, this is a par five and you can see uh, about it. So I made it about halfway down the hole with that, just that one drive. So uh, you can see how well I was in balance and I didn't step backwards. It's really something that I have to work on. I'm almost always step backwards after I hit it. So here's a three wood from uh, quite far out, but I uh, hit that thin, didn't like it, and there's my step backwards again. I'm really kind of like giving up on it. I'm not getting into my left side. Somebody was telling me I'm just not using my, my weight well enough. But I was lucky to come up short of this hole and be about pin high and hit a nice uh, little wedge shot there to get onto the green, even though I didn't really know how that was gonna react. And here's my putt for birdie and uh, got it up there pretty close. Like I've, I've been like putting pretty well, even though I once once I warm up. Now here is a uh, another short par four, 320 yards I think, and I'm, I made a good swing. Uh, the tee box is a little off center there, but I actually hit it right into a tree that overhangs the fairway. I didn't. I was trying to hit it high over the tree, and I hit it right into the tree. So this drive only went about 190 yards. So now I have pitching wedge here, and I'm really thinking on the, this one about my takeaway. Having that one piece to the leg and then going straight up feeling. And for me, I did that pretty well. 
and I really like the impact of that. You can see the divot was was good, and it was that was a good swing. Going right at the hole. So now I have, I think, about a eight-step putt. So 24 feet or so to the hole, and uh, read it well. Just didn't quite get the speed right to make it go in. And uh, moving on to the part three, that was uh, a not a good shot at all. It was off the toe with the face open a little bit. So when you do that, it went short and right. So now I'm my ball is sitting kind of in this bird's nest, but I popped it up very nicely. And when it landed, it landed like a sack of flour, like it didn't go anywhere. So uh, I hit it really close and tapped in. And now I'm moving on to the 17th hole and uh, hit a terrible drive there. The same shot that I hit with my iron on the last tee box off the toe. So that went only 140 yards before it hit a tree and fell down in this other fairway. And then it hit that decently, but it hit another tree. And now I still have 200 and some yards through trees right here to go until they get to the green. Hit that one great under the, and that actually rolled past the green. Coming back, hit a chip that was uh, a little muffled, not very good, and I'm coming from uh, such a downslope that it went past, and I two putted from there for bogey. So then I I was so mad about that that I quick hit this next drive, snap hooked it into another tree. And now I, I know that I just have to hit this little kind of punch shot to get it up onto the green, which uh, sometimes I struggle with, these punch shots, controlling my direction. And that was horrible. This is all, all just mental at this point. Today started off really positively with a great drive and good iron shot, but then I think, and then I was playing fine, but I let some bad putting. Uh, kind of mess up my confidence and then put too much pressure on the rest of my game and then uh, yeah, it's like feast or famine with the driver it's either very good like 290 out in the fairway or hitting a tree 140 off the tee or something horrible so gosh facing myself with an impossible up and down here. So here's this up and down that I have. I'm up in, a, in another tree and uh, I just have to kind of scramble it up there. And uh, so at this point, I, I did scramble that up there and then I made, let's see. So I made this two putt. Actually, I actually hit a very good putt here almost by the intro part. And shot 40, not a very good nine holes. Well, it wasn't a great round. It wasn't even a... Uh, it wasn't even a good round, really, but um, there were some positives in there. As far as uh, mentally, it's always difficult playing by myself to get totally locked in like I need to. Kind of the competition helps me sometimes. It used to hurt my game, but now it helps. But uh, positive-wise, I really liked how I made a couple swings there. I think two with my driver and two with my irons where I made a really good takeaway. And that's kind of what I'm working on now is uh, more of a one piece. I'm trying to get the handle back to my leg in one piece and then take it a little bit more out on plane. That's gonna feel like very outside to me, but more on plane going back. Combined with that though, you have to have a smooth transition at the top. If you get quick at the top, that's those shots that go left. And getting quick at the top for me is usually spinning out with the hips, doing like a uh, Elvis-style move. So score score-wise, not great, but take away some uh, some putting errors, and probably if I had hit balls uh, before. Anyway, a lot of different caveats, but still, it's a pretty. You gotta take the positives from it, even though I was falling apart near the end. I got so mad on that last after that 17th hole that I tried to hit that drive on 18 so hard. Anyway, but the positive wise, I am hitting the ball a lot further when I do catch it, a lot further, like 20 yards further since I've been working out. So subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching guys.